In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the pen tool to create lines and curves. I'll demonstrate the three different line modes and various options on the Tool Options palette. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. We can use the pen tool to draw straight lines, freeform lines, and connected line segments. To use the pen tool, click on the pen tool icon from the tools toolbar, or press V on your keyboard. At the top, you can see we have a variety of different options in the tool options palette. There are several different modes to choose from, but we are going to start with how to draw a straight line using the lines polylines mode. If you want to draw a line segment on the current vector layer, mark the Create on Vector checkbox on the Tool Options palette. If no vector layer exists, marking this checkbox creates one for the line segment. If this checkbox is unmarked, the line segment is placed on a raster layer. Placing a line segment on a vector layer makes it easier to edit, so I recommend keeping this enabled. Now you can select your line color from the Materials palette. To draw a line, simply click and drag your starting and ending point. You could also click and release your mouse to create your line start point, and click and release where you want the line to end. You can also hold down Shift while dragging to constrain to a straight, horizontal, vertical, or 45 degree line. Now let's look at some more of the options from the Tool Options palette. You can change the mode, line style, and the width of the line. We also have the Apply check mark at the beginning of the Tool Options palette. If you draw a series of multiple line segments and don't click Apply, you can click on the drop-down arrow beside the vector layer with the line segments, and you'll see that all of the lines have been grouped together onto the same path. If you use the Pick tool, you will move all of the lines simultaneously. However, if we click Apply after drawing each individual line segment, then when you click the drop-down arrow beside the vector layer, you can see we have created a new path layer for each line segment. And now you can use the Pick tool to individually resize, reposition, or rotate any of the line segments you have drawn. If you want to view the object's nodes while drawing, you can mark the Show Nodes checkbox. Now I want to show you what happens when you enable the Connect Segments option. This option allows you to draw connected lines. Simply click your starting point and keep clicking to create connected lines. It's important to note that you should make the background swatch transparent if you wish to avoid having a fill. You can see that as I've drawn these connected lines, the background has been automatically filled with the background color. To prevent this, just click on the transparent square under the background properties box. Now, when we draw our connected line segments, there will be no automatic fill. There are also three different join options. I've just drawn these four lines with connect segments enabled, and now, before clicking Apply, I can change how the shape of the corners change by selecting either Miter Join, Round Join, or Bevel Join. Now let's try drawing a line segment using the point-to-point -point mode here. In this mode, you can create a straight line by clicking once, and then clicking again where you want the next node. You can also create a curved line by clicking once to create your starting point, and then clicking and dragging to create a curved shape and releasing the mouse button once you're happy with the curve. You can also choose to start a new contour from the Tool Options palette to create an open shape where the first and last segments are not connected, or click the Close Selected Open Contours button to create a closed shape where the first and last segments are connected. Now let's try the Draw Freehand mode to draw a freeform line. Simply click and drag out your line on the image window. If you want to display the curve's nodes, mark the Show Nodes checkbox. Then type or set a value in the tracking control to set the distance in pixels between nodes. A higher value will create smoother, less precise lines with fewer nodes, while a lower value will create more segmented, precise lines with more nodes. Then drag to create the freehand line or curve and click the Apply button. You can also create your own stylized line by clicking on the drop-down menu from the Line Style category on the Tool Options palette 
and choosing custom. You can clear what's there, then add segments, adjust their lengths, and add any desired segment caps. From here, click Save as New, assign a name, and now your new custom style will appear on the list ready for you to use. Now let's try out some features using the edit mode. With this mode, you can click on an existing line and then change the various options on the tool options palette, such as adjusting the width, style, color, and moving the nodes. Finally, let's click on the knife mode. With this mode, you can cut a line segment. Simply drag across the line where you want to cut it. Then click and drag a node to separate the line segment into two. You can have fun experimenting using the pen tool to create designs and vector graphics in PaintShop Pro. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.